Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do some more Truck Series playoff racing today. So as you can see, we qualified for the Canadian Tire Motorsports Park at a minute 28, 723. We qualified in 13th. So let's go see how we do driver. today. Be ready. Green flag. Right side. So I've only run a few laps at this track. I probably did 15 just practicing Careful. in there. just a regular Clear race, right. not a not a career mode race. So I wanted to see how that would transfer over. Clear right. Because when you're just doing a practice quick race, you can only pick the difficulty level for the AI. So I Clear chose right. 98. And that seemed to work pretty well. But when you're in your career mode, you can't just choose 98. So, I believe it is on normal. Right side. And I had the AI set up for normal. I believe I'm on 90, 90, and 90 for the engine, aerodynamics, and suspension. So I'm on 90, 90, 90 for those. And I said, well, if I choose a uh, harder level than just normal it might be too difficult and I might be way in the back so I just tried normal to start out and so far it looks like it's working pretty well I'm in fifth place so I didn't want to be in 25th but fifth is pretty decent like I said before usually if you qualify somewhere between 8th and 13th you're gonna have a pretty decent day if you qualify on the pole or top five, you're probably going to blow the field away because they're not Careful. synced up Still like there. they should be. And to be honest, before yesterday when I did my testing, I had never run this track before in my life. So it's a lot of fun though. It's pretty fast. Kind of like a Watkins Glen in a way. But I enjoy it. I like the road racing on here. It's not, of course it's not sim, but it's not trying to be sim. But they actually do a pretty good job. Whoever created the LP lines, and that's the lines that the AI cars run around the racetrack, that records throttle, brake, and steering wheel. So it records all that information, and the AI runs those traces as, as best it can. So I think whoever set up these uh, AI racing lines did a pretty good job. I am no expert road racer, I'll tell you that. But I'm okay. I'm decent. So I'm trying to stay with the top few here. See if I can get around Matt Crafton at some point. But I do enjoy this track. It is pretty fun. And you can loop it. And if you get in the gas too quickly, you can turn the car right around. Turn the truck around backwards so you have you do have to feather the throttle probably on lap four I'm gonna be quiet and let you guys listen to the gas and the brake and all that stuff just to get an idea of what it's like but they're racing pretty good in front of me maybe I can get up there with them and get around them usually if they're racing each other I can sneak in there I've had difficulty learning that turn and this turn. If you don't hit this turn just right, your car's going to, like it almost did there, it's going to wheel hop and you're going to go around because of that sudden elevation change. I kept trying to get the draft to work. Of course, I don't have the drafting option turned on at the road course, but I believe it's if you get over 150 miles an hour and the draft will kick in because these trucks punch a big hole in the air. But again, I think the sounds are done really well. It does sound really good to me. So I'm gonna be quiet here for a lap and just let you listen to the sounds. Five to go, driver.
Well, that does sound pretty good. Hopefully you got an idea of the throttle, the braking, and the shifting there. I love this turn right here. You can really get a lot of speed and carry it out of this turn. This one I have a hard time, like I said before, I still have a hard time learning that turn right there. But I'm getting there. Oh, oh, we got into Gilliland. I didn't want to turn him around. Got into him a little bit there. Just wanted to let him know I was there. He's my friend, though. You can see by the green up there by his name. He's my buddy. And I obviously have forgotten how to drive. I just screwed this lap all up. Well, he's pretty far ahead now, 1.8 seconds. Let me see if I can track him back down. But I'm, you know, I'm not slowing down just to make it a good show or make it look good. I'm going pretty much as hard as I can without spinning out. Now, I don't know what this stuff on the track, I don't know if this is PJ1 they put on the track. PB&J, VHT, Traction Compound, you know, those 50 words they have for that stuff. I'd be interested to know if that is, and if it is, is it active? Like, does that stuff really give you more grip in the video game, or is it just there for looks? Because it's obviously not tires. Not tire wear. Oh, man! Oh, I really want to get around Gilliland, but tried way too hard right there. Whoa, whoa. As you guys and gals know, for road racing especially, as soon as you try to get that extra tenth out of it, you're going around. Road racing is a whole different animal than just the ovals. But I'm probably like a lot of people, I love Watkins Glen. To me, it's a little bit easier, really fast, but I enjoy it. Like Sonoma, it's real technical, and sometimes I can get around Sonoma, but I still have a difficult time with it sometimes. And I just cannot get this thing to do what I need it to do. Two laps to go. Again, this is on 13%. I didn't want to make it too long in the truck series. Let's see if I can slow down a little bit here and get on this inside corner. I like to dime in the corner the best I can to get enough speed off. There we go. But you can see it's pretty much how I like it because the front trucks... They're not really pulling away from me, but I'm not really catching them either. And I like to set it up to be competitive, because over time I'm going to get faster. If I run this track enough times, I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to get faster. And I'm sure if I put this race on long run, I don't know how many laps it is normally, but it's probably a pretty long race. It's probably about 60 laps, if I just had to guess. You know, if I ran 60 laps, hopefully I'd be faster and figure it out over that time. Let's see if I can get up here to Gilliland. Got one to go. Need that top three. Let's go. All right, let's go. White flag. There we go. Come on, get up there to him. Got him a little nervous. Let's go. He dime in this corner again. Get down in here. There we go. Now we got to run. Oh, he's going to cut me a little bit. Stay to your left. I'm going to go by him on the high side. Here we go. Careful, Dang it. Go there. He ain't letting me go. He wants that spot. There You're we go. You're clear. Right side. Oh, I had to slow down too much. Now he went back around me. 
See if I can get on the inside of them here. See that little hop right there? You don't do that just right. You're going around because your tires aren't gripping the pavement because they're probably off the ground. Got to be able to get around him here. I need this third place. See how the draft doesn't kick in? Careful. Still there. I'm giving it all I've got, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, oh, man. I probably could have. I might have got around him there if I had slowed down a little bit. But there's that one. That one's in the books. A top five. Awesome. Fourth place. So that was pretty good. Got fourth place. We'll see what we look like in the standings. So we're still sixth. Right now, I've got a 16-point cushion. So that's decent. And then we'll take a look at how many races there are before the next round of the playoffs. There's old Anthony. Let's see what he has to Super say. impressive, those last few races. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. We'll keep up the good work. Try to get us a W at some point. Now, the next race in the Xfinity Series, I believe, is going to be at the Roval. I haven't run one lap at the Roval, so I'm going to have to do some testing and get that track figured out. So here's the truck series. We are in sixth place right now. And we're going to get ready to go to Vegas, I believe. So that's the last race in this round of the playoffs is at Vegas. And then we got these tracks, ISM and Homestead for the finale. So our next track is at Vegas. And we will see how we do. Appreciate you coming out. We'll see you next time.